Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I'm here today to talk about Kevin Durant losing once again in the NBA playoffs. Kevin Durant has not reached the conference finals ever since he left the Golden State Warriors in the 2019 offseason. With Kevin Durant set to turn 35 years old before the start of the next season, you have to wonder how many more opportunities will he have left to finally win a ring without having to join a super team on the Warriors. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is. Will Kevin Durant ever win another ring in his NBA career? And the short answer is no. And I'm going to give you guys the long answer as to why Kevin Durant will never win another ring in his NBA career. Look, what has Kevin Durant proven all of his NBA career? That he's a great scorer and that he's one of the greatest mid-range masters that the game has ever seen. However, what Kevin Durant does really well, he makes up for it by not being a great leader whatsoever. Kevin Durant is not a leader. He's a follower. And it's fine being a follower if you're just talking about the general grand scheme of things. However, Kevin Durant is not just your general basketball player. Kevin Durant has the talent of being one of the greatest NBA players ever. And Kevin Durant blew it in the sense that he's not a leader. He is a follower. Kevin Durant follows whatever people tell him to go do. Kevin Durant is not a real leader. He lets people tell him what to do. And that's the problem right there. If you're one of the best basketball players in the world, you have to be able to put your stamp on the team and put your stamp on culture. And that's the problem with Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has no self-identity within himself. He can't have the ability to lead with other people. And I know some people are going to say, what about LeBron James? LeBron James, he jumped around from team to team. But at least when LeBron James joins the team, he's the leader of that team. And nobody really questions his direction. With Kevin Durant, though, people always question, what is that team's identity? Do they want to play iso ball? Do they want to take a lot of threes? Do they have a strong system in place? Do they have a strong culture in place? And most of the time, the answer is no. You look at the OKC Thunder. He let Russell Westbrook essentially blossom what to do. Russell Westbrook is an empty stats calorie machine, man. Russell Westbrook, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer, yes. But Russell Westbrook, all he did was hog the ball all game long. I mean, look, he won an MVP playing it that way, but it didn't lead him to any long-term success playing it that way whatsoever. I mean, you look at the Golden State Warriors. They had a strong culture in place. They had a strong system. And that's why Kevin Durant was able to thrive. But Kevin Durant ran away from it because Kevin Durant wanted to prove that he could win a championship on his own. So he goes to the Brooklyn Nets. Nets. Brooklyn Nets, they don't really have a strong culture whatsoever. The ownership in there is not good whatsoever. And they're led by Kyrie Irving, their point guard, Mr. I like to miss games all the time. But he joined the Brooklyn Nets, not because he believed that the Brooklyn Nets were going to be a good basketball team, but he joined it because his friend Kyrie Irving told him to go ahead and join that team. He lets other people make his decisions for him. And that's the problem that I have with Kevin Durant. You look at Kevin Durant when he joined the Golden State Warriors. He doesn't have any spine to stand on whatsoever. He's not willing to take on any challenges whatsoever. Whatsoever. You look at the fact that he tries to join super team after super team, and most of the time he comes up short. And the only time he's ever been able to win a championship was when he was able to form that super team in Golden State. But they already had a super team, they had a strong culture, they had a strong system, they had a strong head coach in place. Kevin Durant couldn't have possibly messed it up. I mean, look, all he had to do was to be better than Harrison Barnes in that system. I mean, we've seen the Golden State Warriors be able to win a championship without Kevin Durant before he was there and after he left. Andrew Andrew Wiggins was their replacement for Kevin Durant essentially when they won the title last year and Andrew Wiggins was just as impactful as Kevin Durant. I'm not saying that he was playing at a finals MVP level but there was a debate for a while that Andrew Wiggins could possibly be in the finals MVP conversation. That's how good Andrew Wiggins was playing but honestly that team was always going to be led by Steph Curry and that's what Kevin Durant needs. Kevin Durant needs a point guard that can lead him in a strong direction and that's my issue with Kevin Durant because then he goes on the other side and then it always says I'm the best player in the world. Why am I not being considered better than LeBron James. Well, this is why right here, because Kevin Durant has not been able to win a championship without forming a super team. At least LeBron James has won championships on three different franchises. At least LeBron James has four rings. At least LeBron James actually gets to the finals. I mean, LeBron James went to the finals eight years in a row, and Kevin Durant has not been even been to the NBA finals. Forget winning a championship. Forget going to the conference finals. Forget going to the finals. Kevin Durant has not gotten past the second round ever since he left the Golden State Warriors. And when you talk about best players in the NBA, for whatever reason, Kevin Durant's name is always showing up on there. But then when you look at the actual product, you're probably thinking Kevin Durant is not.
not even the best player on his own team. Devin Booker was the best player on his own team this past season for Phoenix. And when you talk about best players in the NBA, you think of Nikola Jokic, you think of Joel Embiid, you think of Giannis Antetokounmpo, you think about Steph Curry, you think about Tatum, you think about Anthony Davis when healthy, you even think about playoff Jimmy Butler, you think about Devin Booker, you even consider LeBron James up there just because he's been so good for so long. And then maybe you get to Kevin Durant. When you talk about top players in the NBA, Kevin Durant is no longer a top five player in the NBA, yet he's always being mentioned as not only a top five player in the NBA, but he's getting mentioned as being one of the best players in all of basketball. And when you talk to some folks, they think Kevin Durant is a top 20 player all time, which is just laughable to me. Kevin Durant doesn't have the intangibles for that. Kevin Durant is a weak leader. And I know some fanboys of Kevin Durant are going to go ahead and say, oh, he had no Chris Paul. He had no DeAndre Ayton in game six. And what I'm going to say is there's a bunch of bull crap that people are going to be feeding to them if they're saying that because campaign played fantastic in game six the replacement for chris paul that is campaign led the phoenix suns in points in an elimination game which is really just quite frankly embarrassing to even think about for a team that has kevin durant and devin booker the fact that campaign led the suns and points the phoenix suns should be ashamed of themselves for letting that happen but campaign he played fantastic in game six he scored 31 points he made seven three-pointers you really think chris paul is going to give you that so i don't want to hear the excuse that he didn't have chris paul because his backup point guard campaign showed up in an elimination game okay so when you look at it from that perspective you can't use that excuse for chris paul and then the other excuse is he had no deandre eight in game six and what i'm going to say is who cares if he didn't have deandre eight in game six deandre eight is a liability for the phoenix suns yeah he might put up good statistics but when you watch deandre eight and play he doesn't have the impact that a former number one overall pick should have yeah can he sometimes play good in front run yeah he can do that but when you need him to make a bucket when you need him to be a good defender he is never there when it matters most and if i'm the phoenix suns you have got to figure out a way how to move off of deandre ayton this offseason because deandre ayton is never going to be that center that's going to be helping the phoenix suns become championship contenders or at least true championship contenders in the foreseeable future deandre ayton is a good empty calories player but he's not actually a good basketball player i wouldn't even consider him part of the big four allegedly that the phoenix suns formed because he's not even that good of a player he puts up good numbers but he's not actually a good player and here's the other thing too so they started their backup center landale he played 31 minutes he actually played pretty well he actually had a plus minus differential of plus seven so he actually made a positive impact when he was on the floor he gave him 13 points five rebounds and he also had a great game three performance as well he was vital as to why the phoenix suns even won game three in the first place anyway so the backup center for deandre ayton actually played really well so i don't want to hear the excuse that kevin durant didn't have chris paul he didn't have deandre ayton if you're one of the best players in the world you go ahead and take over that game and you find ways to win but that's not what Kevin Durant did and that's my issue with Kevin Durant the fact that he comes up short in big games repeatedly and the fact that people continue to make excuse after excuse with this guy it's getting really sickening to hear at this point you have to remember last year he got swept to the Boston Celtics in the first round we're talking in the first round and he couldn't even win one game he got swept I mean swept that's entirely unacceptable for a player of Kevin Durant's caliber this is why I have an issue with Kevin Durant I'm sorry that I'm having to pile on you Kevin Durant I actually like your game if you didn't talk so much off the court you would actually be one of my favorite basketball players Kevin Durant actually used to be really rootable but he's really screwed himself ever since he left Golden State and the fact that Kevin Durant has not even been to the conference finals that is an indictment on Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant only that leads to my conclusion that Kevin Durant is the weakest superstar ever mentally speaking this guy doesn't have what it takes to make the tough shots and late games on a consistent basis and rise up to the occasion Kevin Durant he can do a lot of things physically speaking but what he can do is become a great leader and step up when the going gets tough i mean i guess that's why he joined that super team in golden state because he's weak mentally so he needs to join a team with stacked chips in order to come through but that's just me maybe i'm dead wrong about kevin durant and maybe i don't know what the heck i'm talking about with him but that's how i'm viewing kevin durant right now so that is why kevin durant will never win another ring in his nba career i just do not see that happening whatsoever remember go ahead and subscribe to sports guy talking like the video and please comment down below if you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That'll be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced
peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.